welcome to April 2nd, 2008. The fourth day of the week. Now time to get into the Lord's Care Ministry. A light shining from above. Day 93 of 2008. If you do return unto the Lord with all your hearts, then put away the strange gods and their Asherah from among you. And that means your cross. And prepare your hearts unto the Lord and serve him only. First Samuel chapter 7 and verse 3. Little children, keep yourself from idols. 1 John chapter 5 and verse 21. Come out from among them, and be you separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing. And I will receive you, and will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 17 and 18. You cannot serve God and mammon. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 24. Thou shalt worship no other God, for the Lord, whose name is jealous, is a jealous God. Exodus chapter 34 and verse 14. Serve him with a perfect heart, with a willing mind, for the Lord searches all hearts and understandeth all imaginations of the thought. 1 Corinthians chapter 28 and verse 9. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden parts thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Psalms chapter 51 and verse 6. Man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. First Samuel chapter 16 and verse 7. Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then we have confidence towards God. First John chapter 3 and verse 21. Duties of the believer personal, good works to be done to the glory of God. Whether though therefore you eat or drink or whatsoever you do, do all to the glory of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 31. Through Jesus Christ the just, my faint desire receive. And let me in thy goodness trust, and to thy glory live. In God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. His, a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. When I started this, I mentioned Azram, and I mentioned about to get rid of that cross. If you do your study, you will see that's what we're talking about. That, too, hurts your feelings, but to let you know the truth. Don't go by the tradition of men. Go by God's word. And if you've been kneeling in front of idols and asking them to do something, they can't hear. They can't speak. Go to God. He can hear and he can speak. And as I say, if you've been doing all that, get down on your knees and repent. Ask God for the wisdom of understanding to show you the truth of his word. Well, brethren, with that, we're going to close. You all have a great day. 
I know I will. So God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.